Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. It's one of these days where I have uh, returned earlier home from work so that I can work a bit from home. It's crazy hot outside. I'm really really sorry if you can hear the fan but I would not be able to tolerate my existence in here especially with all the lights if I had not the fan on so I apologize already for that and uh, let's talk about some skincare empty since I don't have time to film regularly the last few months a lot of things accumulated certainly there are many many more that I could fit in a video so instead of like randomly splitting it into parts I decided today to only show you some skincare stuff that I have collected I have them all here and um, next time that I will find some time to film, I will uh, show you the rest of the stuff. Body care, hair care, some makeup empties, because I really, really have a lot. I have one more full box of this. So I will start with some masks. There are certainly a lot. And um, I would like to remind you that uh, already many of the seat masks that I'm using I'm throwing away because it's something that I don't always remember to keep and I'm also throwing away all these monodoses of masks that I'm using for from brands like Apivita and things like that which are a bit difficult to keep and they get dirty very easily so these I throw directly but um, I have kept quite a few things here to show you so I will start with something that is not directly a mask is these patches that I think that I have shown you already they are tea tree spot patches so they are patches that you can apply over a pimple or if you feel that you will get a pimple the next day sometimes it's a bit um, aching and you can feel that there is something there but has not uh, came out yet so these have tea tree they are completely transparent and you just stick them there you leave them overnight it says it's about eight hours and then next day you can see a clear improvement sometimes you can already avoid the pimple coming out sometimes if it's already out you will see that it's much less inflamed it doesn't disappear if it's like a huge um, acne spot it will not disappear immediately but um, it will improve really a lot with this and these are from they're called non-co t3 spot patches and they are from the korean company Apie this is the brand and I'm getting this from eBay another kind of uh, pads that is not really a seat mask but that I have used is this one I have a box of this and uh, this is the first one I used so I thought that I would talk about it and then when I use them all up I will show, I will show them in my empties video so this is a blackhead clear nose pack and the brand is Natu Republic it's also a Korean brand I actually chose them because they have the cutest packaging ever with this elephant that really blows the black spots from its nose it's really really cute and these are the typical nose strips that take out the blackheads it's actually quite nice I have used a few uh, western type ones from the drugstore I have not used a lot of this kind of products because none of the ones I have used so far really really works but I'm quite pleased with these ones I actually like these ones more than some other Korean ones that I have that I got uh, in the past from Memberbox I don't remember the name of the company but these were also a bit more complicated the strips came separately from the fluid and everything these are very easy to use and they work quite quite well I have a lip mask so this is by a tooth house and it's the cherry lip gel pads so it is lip shaped as you can see it is cherry 
flavored or scented I mean you're not eating the mask and you just apply it over your lips it's not very easy to use because you cannot talk you cannot do a lot of things during this uh, I think it's 20 minutes it says 10 to 15 minutes I usually leave all my masks at least 20 minutes and they are really really hydrating it says that it has uh, cherry extract and uh, it's a hydrogel pad that hydrates, repairs and soothes the skin of the, your lips so you will have smooth and soft lips. This really, really works well. I have used other brands. Um, I think my favorite ones are the Tony Moly ones and I have a few now uh, stocked up but uh, the Tooth House ones are also really, really nice. I have quite a few seat masks as I said. I have two masks from this line that you have seen already a billion times as I have told you I'm running out of stock of these I have bought these from a Korean store in Zurich I think they are not uh, bringing them anymore I have not been there since quite some time actually it's been quite a while that I have visited Zurich so next time I will check again I will certainly go but these are from the company MG Care dewy midzin cosmetics and they are the daily dewy mask pack this is the snail one and this is the platinum one i have very few i don't even think that i have one from its kind of um, uh, ingredient left but i like this a lot and i would be very very happy if i could find them again but the masks that this store have brought actually now is this one so i have quite a few left from this ones and i got a few to try there from the same company mg care and they are the botanic stem cell callus culture and i have the uh, Lotus Essence Mask and the Edelweiss Essence Mask. They are all very hydrating. I have not seen a huge difference between them when I use them. Your uh, skin feels uh, glowy and moisturized and very comfortable afterwards. I really really like them a lot but I cannot say that until now I have noticed that each mask has a very very specific effect on my skin um, I think that if I read very carefully online or on the packaging I will find the specific use for each mask but overall I like them overall I like nearly every seat mask that I try because I can see an instant effect on my skin and it looks so less tired and glowy and soft and that's a good thing um, another line that I'm currently using and these I have bought online from some Swiss um, Korean online shops I think these both are from eBeauty and Care they are the Tony Molly I'm Real mask this is the pore care one the red wine mask seed pore care and this is the radiance one tomato mask seed uh, uh, radiance I like them both a lot. I can see differences. I think that this was clearly a radiant mask. I think that I like the uh, tomato mask a lot. I like radiance masks a lot. So this was my favorite, but the other one was also quite good. So I will certainly repurchase them. This is another mask that I got from another uh, Korean online store. I think um, I don't remember the name but I will put the link down below and this is from a company called Esfolio and it's the Egg Essence Mask and um, if I remember correctly this is supposed to have egg yolk extract and helps to keep your skin energetic and moist so it also has um, chamomile and vitamins and different stuff I like this mask a lot. I actually like the packaging a lot. That's why I chose it and I have a few more from this company and uh, I really really enjoyed using them. This is the... I have two uh, more masks from Memebox and this is the 2B Nang Snail Anti-Wrinkle Face and Neck Mask. So these are actually um, different kind of masks they're not they're like hydrogel masks 
So they come in pieces, separately the eyes, separately the lower part of your face. To be completely honest, I like the result of this mask and it's quite, quite more expensive if I remember correctly than the other ones, but I actually prefer the typical much more budget friendly seat masks than these hydrogel ones because it's very difficult for me to stay 30 minutes or 20 minutes with the hydrogel. It doesn't stay on so nicely and so easily, especially when it's in, in two pieces, it will fall apart, the lower part. I don't feel very comfortable using them. The result is worth it, but it's not something that I will just slap on and do some other stuff and multitask as I usually do. You will have to really like rest, lay on the sofa and try not to move a lot if you want to keep this on. And the last one is similar, if I remember correctly. Uh, maybe I'm wrong to be honest. I, it's been quite some time since I used this one and I don't remember. It's the Aqua Soothing Mask from the company Kang Skin Beauty. It's one of these very very large masks and everything else is all in Korean. So I don't remember a lot about this. I remember because I took note of that so that I can mention it that it was really a soothing mask and that I really enjoy that but it was one of these masks that they are so heavily um, full of the serum that it was dripping all over and that was not one of my favorite things I like my masks to be really really full of this useful uh, amazing serum that does all the work but I also like them not to be dripping all over my clothes when I do a mask so uh, I usually want the balance I want something that it will be beneficial for my skin but also very easy to use as I said I usually multitask while I do my mask so enough with the mask talk and let me continue with some other skincare stuff. I will talk about makeup removers and cleansers first. And this is one of my favorite makeup removers. I have used this up multiple times. And uh, this was actually a present for a friend. And this, the Bifacil uh, Instant Cleanser for Sensitive Eyes uh, from Lancome. So this is a, by a two face makeup remover that you have to mix and I use it only for my removing my eye makeup it does an amazing work I have not seen any other um, makeup remover that is this kind of makeup remover these two faced ones that work so 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 well so this is an amazing product I have repurchased it again and again I find it quite expensive for something like that so it's not that I cannot do without it and to be honest I also like quite a lot um, a drugstore version of that which is one by L'Oreal and uh, when I get the chance to get that um, I mean this one was a present but I usually get that together like in a set together with a Lancome mascara they do this kind of sets uh, many times where this is comes almost for free and in that case I will always choose this one because it's a really really good one another uh, makeup remover I at least use it as a makeup remover is this cleansing oil by Etude House this is the real art cleansing oil I love this a lot it lasted so so long I also got this from me beauty and care it's perfect to remove your eye makeup I use it as a first face cleansing uh, to remove my makeup before I wash my face at night and this is really really great I got another one to try another Korean cleansing oil right now I have not started trying it yet but I use this interchangeably with uh, a cleansing balm so sometimes I will use this one sometimes I will use a balm so currently I'm using a vanilla co cleansing balm but uh, this is a really really good one continuing with cleansers let's go to washing our face and cleansing our face I have a second step cleanser here 
This is a very, very infamous cleanser in the beauty community. This is the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. And uh, everyone is talking about it. And it's not a new product. Actually, in the past, more people were talking about it because it's one of these very, very famous, not classical cleanser that they do not foam. It's like a cream and you just rub it on your face and then you have to take it out with a muslin cloth or with um, a towel or... I do not like it. I used it up all. It was not a bad cleanser, but for me, this cleanser didn't worth the hype. I didn't care a lot for the scent. It has rosemary, chamomile, uh, eucalyptus essential oil. It was not bad, but I didn't care a lot about it. I was... Uh, I don't like using a muslin cloth a lot. I just prefer to use a washcloth afterwards to remove it. But it, it works with a washcloth too. But this whole kit that it comes with a muslin cloth, I was not so impressed. And uh, it's not the most expensive one, but it's also not the cheapest one. And it's not so easy to find. I got it in UK. I think you can also order it online from some online stores. But I will not repurchase this and it's certainly not one of my favorite cleansers that I have tried. I have another product that it's not a cleanser but it is related to cleansing and it's a scrub, a face scrub. This is by Apivita and it is the uh, exfoliating face cream deep, deep cleansing with olive and lavender. So I use more and more hydroxy acids and exfoliating chemical products but I also from time to time enjoy some mechanical physical exfoliation for my face. I usually do that once a week and this is one of my favorite normal exfoliants and this is paraben free, silicon free and propylene uh, glycol free. This is uh, Apivita is a Greek brand. It's my absolutely favorite Greek brand for skincare products. It has some amazing masks and it also has some really good scrubs and it has two scrubs and this is a really really good one. They also have a um, blueberry one if I remember correctly that I also also like a lot and um, I have repurchased this so I have a full size of this to use but um, if you like I cannot recommend you to really uh, use a scrub like that because it depends from your skin if you have sensitive skin I would only say to try to do more chemical scrubs and avoid this kind of scrub because they can really really sometimes damage your skin especially if it's very sensitive or if it's aging skin or if it's very dry but my skin is quite durable and uh, I'm not doing that quite often so I really enjoy it from time to time and the most um, enjoyable part for me is that I'm breaking it bringing it down to my decollete area and it's really really nice for this area and I like to using it I like using it also on my neck and the whole area here it works perfectly let's go on to toners I don't have any exfoliating toners to show you in this empty video but I have quite a few hydrating toners so one I'm, I'm usually doing two steps of toning after removing my makeup and cleansing and everything and I will first use an exfoliating toner and then I will use a hydrating toner that could be a spritz or a regular toner so this is Zero Zing from La Rose Posay this is an absolute favorite I love this I got it after reading raving reviews uh, about it from Caroline Hirons and uh, she says that it's one of the best spritzes out there it's for oily blemish prone skin it has zinc sulfate solution and uh, it's hypoallergenic my only i mean the mist everything about this product is amazing i have there are only two problems 
you cannot find it everywhere that they have La Rose Posay. The company for some reason only carries it in France and I think that they have also brought it recently, like the last year they also brought it in UK in boots but I don't think that you can find it elsewhere which is a problem and the other problem is that it finishes up very 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 quickly and I don't know why, maybe because I enjoy it so much that I spray it a lot it, that could be very possible but I have two more in stock that I got in my last uh, trip to Paris and I will repurchasing it again and again and again whenever I get the opportunity. I have another spritz that I really, really enjoyed too. This is from Memebox. It's a, a Korean brand that um, I have no idea how this is called. I have shown this in a favorite video in the past and I was again searching for a company. I will search and maybe put it down. It's the Vitamin Recharger Mist. And this is a whitening mist that brings freshness and rich moisturizing to dry and tired skin and has six different vitamins. I like the scent, it felt very fresh. The um, spritzer was not my favorite. Uh, I mean, this creates such an amazing mist. This is a bit wet, but still it was really, really good and very refreshing and I really enjoy using it. Sometimes when I don't like the spritzer of a product, I just spray it on a cotton round and then apply it as a toner and it works perfectly well. But that was quite, quite fine. So, this is a product that I'm really on the fence. So this is again from a, a, a meme box and it's the... Um, I'm so sorry Memebox has stopped sipping in Europe. It's really... I have gotten the opportunity to try so many great products and that I can also recommend you and now it's so difficult to find them. So this is from the company Recipe and it's the Vita Capsule Essence. So this is something between a toner and a serum. It came in two phases, the one it was like liquid and the other was oily. So the days that I was using that, I was not using an oil. I was either using it in my morning uh, skincare routine or um, in the evenings that I usually use an oil. Now I even use in the mornings to be honest. Um, I would I would skip the oil. And whenever I use that, the first few times I really really like it. I just take it and apply it on my hands and then apply it with my hands and masses it on my face and it felt really really nice. After some point it felt like a big bother to do this weird extra step between oil and toning and everything and for some time I was annoyed by it and I stopped using it and then I tried to um, use it up so I was mixing it with this so I would spray a bit of this on a cotton round and then I would uh, pour a bit of this on the same cotton round and I would mix it up and apply it to my face and it felt really, really, really nice, very refreshing, very moisturizing, very glowy, so it really worked a lot. You just have to find the way that the product will work better for you. I will continue with serums and oils. So I have three products here. The first one is an oil. It took me a billion years to finish this up. I don't know, it's uh, 30 ml and you just need like a couple of drops. It's also very thick because for example now I'm using the Caress Rose Oil and you can really see it, I use it every day of course, but you can really see it like going down and used up and but this, like it took me literally a billion years, I mean I certainly like more than 10 months. I. It was incredible. So this is the Pie Rose Hip Bio Regenerate Oil. This is a very known oil. Rose Hip Oil supposedly is very very good for your skin. And uh, Pie is a really really known good brand. I have never tried anything else from the brand. 
but this is one of their star products I got it in UK and uh, this is the oil that got me into using facial oils for my skincare I like it I now use some other oils I might repurchase it at some point or I might not because there are so many oils that you can use and try and this is like a good standard I would never say that this is an exceptional oil I will say that it works and if you want to go with a safe choice which is it is not cheap but it's normal priced uh, I would go with this one it's it's a good choice and I would go with this one and I would recommend that to a lot of people and it, it fits my skin which is normal to oily it it would fit dry skin it would fit any kind of skin in my opinion and then I have two serums I have this one from Rodeo this is the Glamoxy Snake Serum. I loved this. I loved it. It was a really nice serum. I was applying it in the morning before I put my makeup. It says that um, it helps to uh, fill the lines instantly. It gives glow. Uh, it gives radiance. It is really, really nice. And it works wonderfully. It's not a magical product but uh, I'm very pleased with it as I am with the mask I mean the mask gives more strong results but this is something that you will use every day and it really makes your face to look younger and fresher and glowy and it's a really really good one but it's very very pricey and this one it's again a Memebok product and uh, this is the Dell Skin Centella 90 Power Ampoule and it contains 90% Centella Asiatica Extract that regenerates damaged skin and all these things. So this was 30 grams that I used up so, so quickly. I mean, I think this is quite expensive. I like the packaging. It looks very pharmacy type and I like this green glass and everything but I didn't care for it I didn't feel that this thing did anything to my skin so sometimes you put the product and your skin will act up you might break out your skin might love it it would really you will see a difference sometimes it will take a long time to see a difference but you will see that this thing works I mean I used it all up and I think that I could entirely skip this step and I would not see any difference during this period so this is something that I will not search how I can find and I will not repurchase for sure I have two eye creams the one is um, a travel size and the look sample and it's the Zenific uh, Yeux by Lancome so it's um, the youth activating eye concentrate from Lancome this was nice, pleasant to use, it was quite hydrating, but nothing very special. So I don't think that I would purchase the full size. I mean, it was a very good travel size, 5ml, and I think the full size is 15, so that was quite good. And this is a very nice eye cream. It's again quite expensive. I got it in a kit, with, and I, I have a backup because I got the kit and then few months later I got yet another kit because I found it in a really really good sale and this is the Rodeal Dragon's Blood Eye Gel and this has hyaluronic acid in I love the packaging that it is like that it's very hygienic it feels really really nice on the skin it's not very thick it's moisturizing but if you really have dry area around your eyes it would not be the best for you but it made my eyes look fresh and that's something that I really liked so it also helps with the thin lines and everything so I was using that in the morning so it's a morning eye cream for me few more things and I have two face creams uh, I have the Volpaderm AHA cream with A and B hydroxy acid in 10%. This is by a Greek company, by the company Phrasiderm. 
I really enjoy this face cream a lot I have been using it not always but I have been using it whenever I thought that my skin needed some extra help with the hydroxy acids uh, now I'm using hydroxy acids every single day so it would not be a problem but it's very good to remove dead skin cells to hydrate but also help with the thin expression like makes your uh, skin smoother I love this a lot I don't think you can find it outside of Greece but I'm planning to repurchase this cream because it was a very good one another very good uh, moisturizing cream it's this one to be uh, this is by Nooks and it's the Creme Prodigie anti fatigue moisturizing cream this is for normal to combination skin I didn't have any expectations from this cream. It was in a kit that I got for the um, uh, Il Prodisie and um, I love the oil, I like the scent, so I got the kit and it had a candle that smelled fantastic and it also had the cream. So I was not using the cream, I had it sealed somewhere in my stock drawer and uh, oh my god I took this out so that I will use it up before it goes but and this is so moisturizing but not heavy it feels so perfect on the skin I was using this actually as a morning moisturizer although it was quite thick and creamy and I usually prefer more jelly moisturizers and whenever I use that I felt my makeup so nice afterwards I will definitely I have a ton of um, face cream so I will use them up but in the future I will certainly certainly get this again it's so nice it's so easy to travel with it's 40 ml and it comes in a tube I love this it smells it's scented so if you don't like this Nux products are scented even the skincare one so keep that in mind but for me that worked perfectly fine and I have three last products to show you that they were a bit more varia this one I have not used up I will throw it away I have shown it in the past as one of my uh, products that sucked and I have used it a couple of more times but I it just gathers dust and it goes bad and I don't even think it's good enough to give it to anyone else so this is the Syracle Red Spot Cream it's again a Korean brand it's from Emma Box very cute packaging this is a very very thick cream and um, it, it reminded me a lot the kind of um, how this um, the pseudo cream it reminds me the texture of the pseudo cream that a lot of people say that you can use on your pimples and it will destroy them and make them vanish and everything so this breaks me out so not only it doesn't help with my pimples but it's very heavy very thick and it hate my skin hates this so my skin completely cannot tolerate that so I'm throwing it away I have a Mavala Switzerland double last um, product here which is for longer, denser, stronger lashes. I, um, I like this quite a lot. I don't use it uh, so much on my lashes. I didn't notice, I was using it on my lashes in the beginning, I didn't notice a huge difference but my lashes are quite long and quite okay but I use this on my eyebrows and I liked it a lot and um, it was very conditioning I don't know if a lot of eyebrows grew up but it says that it makes them long and um, stronger and denser I certainly thought that my eyebrows were stronger and that's something that I like so that was uh, something that I might repurchase in the future now I'm using the benefit new one this conditioner for the eyebrows but in the future I might repurchase that again and for the end I left this travel size of the Peter Thomas Roth pumpkin enzyme mask I have shown this in a favorites video I absolutely love this mask I bought the full size it's really really great so it is a 3-in-1 intensive skin refresher treatment exfoliates with pumpkin enzyme pills with alpha hydroxy acid 
polishes with aluminum oxide it gives radiant smooth skin it's really 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 good and you can feel it work it tingles a bit the mask should not burn when you use acids it should never burn but it could tinkle and that's not a bad thing and it also smells like pumpkin spice latte and that is a positive thing for me so these were all the skincare empties I might keep some of these to make some more dedicated skincare videos in the future where I will talk to you about some toners and which ones I like and which not and things like that or I might throw them away. I have not decided because I cannot keep empties forever and I always have so many ideas for videos to uh, make for you. We will see, but you're always asking me for more skincare videos, so I have not decided yet. But this is uh, my empties video and uh, some quite uh, long mini reviews for the products that I use up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please click the like button if you liked it, subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. I am missing you all, I'm trying to do my best and film some videos whenever I find some time. Uh, but the situation will continue to be like that until the end of September at least. So I hope you're patient, I'm very very happy that you're still watching my videos and leave me comments and uh, send me messages for support. That is really really great and I want to thank you for that and uh, we will talk next time most probably with the rest of my empties until then many many kisses bye